Hi, I'm Ronnie from Ronnie's Garage. Today we're holding our monthly tech meet at my shop and we're going to be working on steering racks. I'm going to show you how to take them apart, put them back together and hopefully make them work. There it is. Important thing, pull the tape back off. <laughs> And don't let it slip up. There we go. You, did you want to use this? <laughs> <laughs> I could find, probably find some use for it. Yeah, I'm sure you could. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I'm going to put my paper gasket on for the spool valve centering shims. And this is kind of like a, a head gasket. The, the V8s have 20 head studs. So putting a head gasket on is tricky sometimes because they're so precise. If you get a little cockeyed, it wants to, wants to uh, get stuck. And actually, the six-cylinder engines are worse because I think they have 30, 37 or 39 head studs. So you've got to walk that big copper gasket down gently. A lot of little shims in here. She is. So this one has to go on. I will uh, gonna make some noise and blow this out nicely. Uh, and then we can put this tower seal. That's what it's called and this is usually pretty tight. Did you talk about left drive, right drive? Mm-hmm. What about it? Uh, I, the, I, Steering I, racks are different. Some, some are reverses and except for the top pieces are uh, inches. I'm sorry now? Uh, most of the pieces just reverse in the side, but, uh, but the two ends are bigger images for the left drive and right drive. Yeah, on a left or on a right-hand drive, this would be facing this way. This housing would be on this side. It's just and would therefore be a, a different totally different. Right. On the Silver Cloud, which is, I don't know if that's what you're referring to in a way, um, the spool valving will be the same on either one, essentially. It will be. Um, it's just the housings are different because they're oriented on the opposite side. Uh, and on the Silver Clouds, you can one project that I have on my docket for one of my cars is I have a, a Bentley S3 right-hand drive and I have a left-hand drive S2 steering box. So I want to convert mine. I have everything to go with it because I parted out a car. The problem is a Silver Cloud 2 steering box is a much lower pressure and a less assist compared to the Cloud 3. So I'm going to change the spool valve from the Cloud 3 to the Cloud 2 box because it's got the different mounting orientation. If that makes any sense? Yeah. It's going to be a project. I just remember I once had a Camaro converted to right hand drive. A Camaro? Yeah, they, they, could, they could do most of the parts moving across left to right. Uh huh. But they had to take a whole new steering box that was a mirror image of the Camaro box. Right. The box has to be totally different. These are tight to go in, so I'm trying not to damage anything, but we'll see how it goes.
these things are really tight in here. And typically what happens is you get a little bit of the rubber on the outside of that seal that peels up. There, oh, this, this one did pretty good. That's a tree or something out there. I wouldn't worry about this. I've never had a problem with this unless it gets totally cockeyed in there. It actually comes with a new snap ring. Get it. You always want to make sure the snap ring seat. check is to turn them. And I don't think that's in yet. It seems out a bit. I think I just damaged it. No, it's I think it's in. Okay, so anybody remember the direction this, this side faces? <laughs> this is the front of the car, engine oil pan's here, see, got to pay attention. Of course you fishing, guys, fishing you guys get towards, to watch me. So towards it's, the sump, right? Uh, no, that's the shaft on the early one, or the later one, that's that flat. It faces this direction. It faces down because the lines come up and they come underneath. Now, in your guys' defense, I've flipped this thing around a whole bunch of times, so that'll throw things off. But that's just my point is, is that it's important to pay attention. And one of the best tools for paying attention is a digital camera. <laughs> it's restorations. Even simple stuff like this, you know, which is <coughs> simple to me. I know it's a little complex, but this is just a steering rack. It's not an entire car. So. Digital camera is probably one of the best things that ever happened to restoration. I think that and Ziploc bags, yeah. Sharpies. Ask me the torque on that. <laughs> What's the torque on this? <laughs> all right, so it turns. After all that, yeah, it feels good. So you can use that centering thing if you want. There, that's where the hole. I can see it in right. So essentially, it's in the center of this gap. That's that. It's not that critical. So in the kit, these big O-rings, there's one smaller one, and that one goes inside here. And the air hoses. This is the smallest diameter here. This is bigger, so that's that's why it goes on there. It has to fit inside here. I've struggled by trying to put the big one in there and it just doesn't want to sit. You know, O-rings pop out once you get the last part in, the other side pops out. That's fun. I remember being in here years ago all by myself once, one day. I hear this pop, 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 pop. It was almost. Okay. Who's in here? Right. Walk around the whole place and I hear it again. Pop, 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 pop. Finally figured out it was some crows trying to break something on my skylights. <laughs> was some yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're all alone here, especially when it's dark, and the gates open in this neighborhood, yeah. it's prudent to pay attention. <laughs> 